following is a presentation of BFA Sports. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Camden High School, home of the 23-2 Camden Panthers. Steve Westcott here with BFA Sports. We thank you for tuning in here on Senior Day at Camp. is a presentation of BFA Sports. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Camden High School, home of the 23-2 Camden Panthers. The Panthers today will host the Bishop Eustis Crusaders, who come in with a record of 11-15, coached by Coach Rob Falconero. Let's now go to public address announcer for today's starting lineups. <laughs>
see you're not in charge for your own. And Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Westcott here with BFA Sports on Senior Day here for the Panthers of Camden High School. Our starting lineups, in case you just missed them from our public address announcer, for the visiting Crusaders, number two is Ian Glassmacher, number three is Diano Mann, number 10 is Braden Killing, number 11 is Dylan Adamanis, and number 25 is Tommy Semiralio. For the home team, senior day, all seniors in the starting lineup today. Number two, Samaj Bathia. Number four, Elijah Curry. Number five, Teron Murray. Number 11, Nazir Simmons. And number 24, Billy Richmond. One note on those Camden seniors, Samaj Bathia trying to track down 1,000 points. We're being told that he's just 54 away. Probably won't get it in here today, but look forward to that for Samaj Bathia and the Camden Panthers. They come in with a record of 23 and two. They host, they are hosting the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace who are 11 and 15. But I'm telling you from my experience around high school basketball in South Jersey, throw the 11 and 15 out for the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. If they can handle Camden's pressure and if they can control the pace of play, they can find themselves in this one in a fourth with a chance to steal the game here. These two teams met about 10 days ago on February 6th. Um, Camden getting the much better of that in an 85-47 win. Camden wins the opening tap. Ball into corner to Billy Richmond. Baseline drive and jams it for two. Great start for the Camden Panthers. Baseline drive by Richmond with the dunk. Ball goes into the post. The number 11, Adamanis. His shot's blocked. Out come the Panthers in transition. Curry, the Richmond back to Curry, and it's turned over. Glassmacher comes back for Bishop Eustace. Ball on the wing, skip past the man. Man dribble drive with the right hand, kicks to the baseline corner. Now back out to Glassmacher. Mock Glassmacher in the killing. Back out top to number 25, that's Tommy Semiralio. Ball into the hands of Glassmacher, now killing. Killing into the post. Glassmacher trying to find a cutter, and that cutter was out of minus. Ball's turned over, however. Bathia with for Camden with the basketball. Around the horn it goes, Elijah Curry at the top of the key. He's gonna try to get all the way to the rim. Don't count the bucket because of a foul. Fouls on Bishop Eustace, number 11, Dylan Adamanis. Camden Panther inbound along the baseline. Bethia up top to Murray. Murray back to Bethia on the wing, right in front of the Eustace bench, into the paint. To Curry. Curry back out to Billy Richmond. He's going to let go of left, his left-handed three. That's no good. Offensive rebound on the weak side by number 11, Nazir Simmons, who finds a cutting. Richmond for two. Billy Richmond with both buckets to start here. One a dunk and one a layup off of a great cut and find by Simmons. 4-0 Camden. Bishop Eustace basketball and on the wing as a baseline drive is attempted to be made by Dylan Adamanis. He stepped on the sideline. Out of bounds, turnover to the Panthers of Camden. Senior day in here. We're going to honor 11, I'm told, uh, between basketball players and cheerleaders here at halftime. So please stay with us. One programming note, stay with us at halftime for senior day, celebrating the seniors of the Camden Panthers. Curry, round the horn to Bethia. Bethia comes off a Richmond screen, looks to get to the baseline, can't do so. Comes back to the center of the paint, wants to go with the left hand and misses that. Crusaders with the rebound and cross the timeline. Glassmacher attempts to find 
Number 25, Semiralio. That pass is incomplete, goes out of bounds. Turnover to the Crusaders. Four nothing. Two minutes into the first here. Six minutes left. Bethea to Richmond, to a cutting Curry. His jam attempt is no good, but he's fouled. Elijah Curry looking to stuff that one with the right hand. However, let's go to our game changer replay. Bethea crosses the timeline. He's going to find Richmond on the wing. There's a curl cut by Elijah Curry, and his jam attempt is no good, but it's because of a foul by number 11, I believe that was, Dylan Adamanis. Curry's first free throw is up and good. He gets one more. Good look at Elijah Curry there at the foul charity stripe. Second free throw is up and good. Two for two for Curry. Six nothing. Camden, here's the full court pressure that we've seen so often by the Panthers of Camden. Coach Falconero calls a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. Six nothing Camden. We'll be back after this. Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. You're tuning into BFA Sports. I'm Steve Westcott along with our BFA Sports crew here at Camden High School, home of the Panthers. Panthers are out to a good start here in this first quarter against the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. Six nothing with 5.53 left here in the first. Senior day here at Camden High School. It'll be Crusader basketball as both teams leave the huddle and the timeout. Full court pressure being shown by Camden. And good pressure it is. Good job by Bishop Eustace right there, breaking it via the pass. No dribble. Top of the key three by Semiralio. That's up and good. Good possession out of the timeout for the Crusaders. Just what you want as a head coach. Come out of the timeout, break the full court press, execute, knock down a three. 6-3, Panthers. Return three from Teron Murray from the top of the key of Camden. That's no good. Rebound to the Crusaders. Ball into the possession of Glassmock. Passes it to Killeen. Killeen over to Semiralio again. That three-point field goal is up and no good. Billy Richmond with the defensive rebound, and out comes Camden in transition. Spin move, down the paint, and there it is. That's a Division I basketball move by a Division I player. Kentucky commit Billy Richmond. Spin move at the foul line. Jam it with the left. Good ball movement by the Crusaders as they come back. Now down 8-3. Semiralio with the basketball over to... Glassmacher, Glassmacher bounce pass into the paint to Samaraglio, and that's good. Good cut after the pass from the top of the key by Samaraglio, and he's found by Glassmacher. Little baby eight footer for two. Eight fives our score here. Simmons with the basketball, pass back up top to Bethia. Bethia is looking to take Killing. He does and kicks out to Elijah Curry who drains a three. This Camden team is tough as it is, but when the jump shots are going for players like Richmond and Curry and uh, uh, Teron Murray, Bethia, they're just awfully, awfully tough to cover. Another turnover by the Crusaders. Back in transition comes the Panthers. Ball in the hand of the Nizier Simmons. Gets into the paint, kicks it back out to Billy Richmond. Billy Richmond takes it into the paint and makes the six-foot left-hand floater. Billy Richmond having himself a good start to this first quarter here on Senior Day. Crusaders with the basketball dribbling into the paint and losing it out of bounds was number three, Deano Mann for the Crusaders. Another turnover for Bishop Eustace. The pressure is just aggressive and nonstop. We've seen it time and time again, and let's face it, that's why the Panthers are 23 and two. And on a roll right now is the second half of the year if they've been just simply awesome. Deep three by Teron Murray, that's no good. Rebound into the hands of the Crusaders, number 13, Hollingshead. Hollingshead passes to the wing to Killeen. Killeen back up top to Semiralio. Semiralio looks to dribble drive, can't get by Murray. Kicks it to Mann. 
McMahon now into the hands of Killeen. Killeen over to Hollingshead. Hollingshead, Hollingshead back to Semiralio, back to Hollingshead, and around the horn it goes for the Crusaders. Stops into the hands of Killeen. Back to Semiralio, being covered by Elijah Curry. Man with the basketball. Into the post to Glassmacher. Glassmacher looking to try to take Simmons, backs it back out and gets to the top of the key to Hollingshead. Hollingshead on the dribble drive, commits an offensive foul using that offhand to commit the offensive foul. It'll be a turnover and the ball will belong back to the Panthers. 3.04 left here in the first, 13-5 Camden. Bathia with the basketball. Lob pass into the paint to Curry. Curry actually hits a fit, goes to the baseline and hits a fadeaway 12-footer. And ladies and gentlemen, if he hits that, I just don't know how you stop the young man. That's a baseline fadeaway 12-footer. That's nothing but Drano and nothing but net for Curry. Another turnover and steal by the another turnover by the Crusaders. Steal by Murray. He comes down. He's going to let a three-point field goal go from the wing just to our left. That's no good. Semiralio with the rebound for uh, Bishop Eustace. Throw ahead pass to the corner to number 10, Killing Back up top to Semiralio. His three-point field goal from the top of the key is no good. Curry with the rebound and out. He comes in in transition. Left to Bathia. Bathia with the dribble drive with the left hand. Gets all the way to the rim and lays it in for two. Good throw ahead by Curry. Bathia with the basketball on the right wing. Dribble drive into the paint. Finds himself alone and lays it in on the left side for two. Bishop Eustace breaking the full court press. A three-point field goal from just to our right is attempted by Killeen. That's no good. Camden with the rebound. Simmons in transition. Accepts the contact. Can't make the layup. He gets his own rebound. He goes back up, and we have a jump ball called. Simmons misses his first attempt. He gets his own offensive rebound, and on his second attempt, he's tied up by Adamanis. I apologize. Killeen he's tied up by. Referees call a jump possession hour belonging to Bishop Eustace, who now have the basketball in their offensive end. Pass to Semiralio at the elbow. He skips and turns, looks opposite. Finds Killeen. Killeen up top, ball around the horn. Now into the hands of Mann. Mann to Semiralio, into the paint. With the basketball is Hollingshead. He looks to move, make a good up and under move, however, can't get it to go. Might have been partially blocked by Murray. Camden now in transition. Skip pass to the opposite side, right in front of the Eustace bench to Murray. However, that dribble drive is now stolen. In transition come the Crusaders. Foul line jumper by Glassmacher is no good. Rebound to Camden. They're now in transition. Bathia all the way to the rim. That's no good. Richmond with the offensive rebound and put back for two. Samaj Bathia in transition couldn't get the left-handed layup to go from the right side. Here come the Crusaders. Ball sh stolen on a two-on-one by Camden. Curry in transition to the paint. Draws the contact, draws the foul, and makes the bucket. Elijah Curry for two, and he'll go to the line for one. Elijah Curry out in transition, makes the bucket, draws the contacts at the line, an attempt to complete a traditional three-point play, gets the free throw to go, and that he does. 22 to five. Here, we're under a minute left in the first. It's all Camden so far. Thanks to that full court press, defense turning the Crusaders over, getting them out into transition. Tempted block to block pass from Mann to Semiralio for the Crusaders, that's tipped and it goes out of bounds. It'll remain Crusader basketball. Screen, Semiralio from the top of the key for three, and down it goes. That's the second one here in his first quarter. Semiralio's made. Semiralio from the top of the key for three. Panthers with possession. Simmons with the basketball. 30 ticks left on the clock here in the first. Looks like they're going to hold for one. Man-to-man -man defense being played by the Crusaders. Simmons to Richmond, back to into the hands of Simmons. They tried to catch Richmond rolling. They couldn't do that. However, they find Curry in the paint, and he knocks down an eight-footer. They were looking to get the lob pass on the pick and roll to Richmond. They couldn't do that, but Curry found himself alone from eight feet and knocked it down. Richmond, after a steal by Camden, Richmond attempts a field goal attempt from just on the three-point line. He was not behind the three-point line, so I believe this will be two free throws from the line for Billy Richmond. Camden's defense time and time again with this full court pressure, and it, doesn't, it hasn't matter who they've played. Their 
full court pressure has created turnover after turnover after turnover and has gotten the Camden Panthers out in transition time and time again. Thus, another 25 plus first quarter here for the Panthers. When these two teams played on February 6th, Camden had a 20, uh, what did they have? A 26 point first quarter and a 31 point third quarter. Here again with 26 points in the first. The Crusaders look up ahead. Semiralio looks to take Richmond. He does and scores at the buzzer. So Semiralio for the Crusaders has had himself a wonderful first quarter with eight of the 10 points here in the first. However, it's 26-10 after one, Camden. Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. We're back. You're looking at Coach Malik Waynes, Villanova's own Malik Waynes in the huddle of the 23-2 Camden Panthers who certainly have themselves out to a great start here today against the Crusaders of Bishop Eustis. Our score going into the second quarter is Camden 26, Bishop Eustis 10. We should have handled this note of business here in the first half. Our officials for today's contest are Landris Lewis, Rob Giosa, and our head official today, Mr. Greg Ackles, South Jersey's best. It'll be Camden basketball to start the second here. Senior day. In case you missed it, stay with us at halftime. A little programming note. There's going to be 11 seniors honored as student athletes here for the Camden Panthers today. Combination of, I believe they said, five players and six cheerleaders to be honored at halftime here at Camden High School. We're underway here in the second quarter. Samaj Bathia with the basketball for the Panthers. As we said, coming into today, Samaj Bathia only 54 points away from 1,000. He's trying to track that down and what would be a great accomplishment for him on his senior campaign. Good pass by Elijah Curry, finding a cutting Billy Richmond in the paint. Who knows what to do with it from there, and that's lay it in for two. Billy Richmond with a bucket. Back come the Crusaders, Adam Adamanis with the basketball. Back up top to Semiralio, who had himself a great first quarter, scoring eight points with two threes and a bucket at the buzzer. Semiralio with the basketball, looking to take Elijah Curry. Gets ahead of ball fake, however, runs into traffic and turns it over. Simmons to Richmond. Dad, look at this, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Highlight real stuff from the Panthers of Camden High School. Simmons to Richmond, who leaves it up in the air and a new pass to Elijah Curry, who jammed it home. Back come the Crusaders. They break the full court pressure. They attack the basket after breaking it, and they are going to count the bucket on a goaltending call by Elijah Curry. But look at this. Richmond leaves the lob pass up for Curry. Highlight real stuff, ladies and gentlemen, from the Panthers of Camden High School. Bethia with the basketball. 30-12 to 12 Camden lead. There's going to be a foul on the Crusaders at Amanis as he went over the back and attempting to tip the pass away to the, or the entrance pass away to Elijah Curry. Commits the foul in the process. Camden basketball, Billy Richmond up top. And on the catch, he, he shuffles his feet and walks with the basketball. Billy Richmond looking to get to the rim before he even caught it. Thus the shuffle of the feet. Turnover for the Camden Panthers. They've been few and far between in here for them today. Thus the reason why they're up 30 to 12 here. Minute 15 into the second with 6.45 left. Crusaders looking to get a bucket and try to calm some things down to see if they can't fight and scrap their way back into this one. Man with the basketball at the top of the key to the wing to Hollingshead. Hollingshead now into the corner to Killeen. Killeen dribbles it back up top, throws a skip past the man. 
He now dribble drives into the paint. Ball rotation around the perimeter. Number two, Glassmacher, head fake. Dribble drive to 10 feet and a knockdown 10-footer. Good boom by Glassmacher. Head and ball fake. Got the defender in the air. Took it to 14 feet, 12, 14 feet. Knocked down a jumper. Mid-range jump shot for Glassmacher. Simmons comes off an Elijah Curry screen at the top of the key. His three-point field goal attempt is no good. Rebound to the Crusaders. In transition come the Crusaders. And that is Hollingshead on a drive to the basket in which he's fouled by, I believe, Nazir Simmons. Bishop Eustace, when doing a good job of when they have broken the press and the pressure of the Panthers of Camden, they are trying to attack the rim. And like I said in our opening, they are going. Bishop Eustace Crusaders throw their record out. They are fundamentally sound enough, and they are definitely well coached enough. You don't get much better than Coach Falconero for the Crusaders, and they will keep themselves in it, no matter who they play. Doing a good job of breaking the pressure and attacking the rim. Hollings heads second does not go. Our score is 30 to 15. Camden, Richmond on the wing. Back up top to Bethia. Looking to take Samaralio. Comes off a uh, Curry screen. He has an open three. That is up and no good for Samaj Bethia. Rebound to the Crusaders. And in transition comes Hollings head. Looks to get into the paint with the left hand. Up and no good. However, he's fouled by number 15, Emmanuel Joe Samuel. Hollingshead makes one of two from the free throw line. 30 to 16 is our count. Here at 525 left in the first half. Emmanuel Joe Samuel looks to take, is that Killing? Looks to take, no, I'm sorry, that's Glassmacher. Looks to take Glassmacher and turns it over into the process. Samaralio with the ball for the Crusaders. Over to Hollingshead. He's at the top of the key. He finds Glassmacher. Glassmacher now at the top of the key. To the corner to Semiralio. He's going to let a three-point field goal go, and that's no good. Rebound to the Panthers Hall. Sitafa Hall into the game for the Camden Panthers. He obtained that defensive rebound. It's a foul on the play in transition. The possession will still remain with the Panthers. Hall inbounds to Samuel, now back to Hall. Panthers with possession on the offensive end. Richmond to Samuel, back to Richmond. He gets a screen from Curry, he denies the screen, goes back to Samuel. Samuel looks into the paint to Curry. Six foot, what a good, what a great shot by Elijah Curry. Little baby right hand hook from six feet. Here's our game changer replay. Richmond to Samuel, into the post to Curry. Turn around, baby six foot hook, got it, and the foul. Curry to shoot one. Up and good. Three point play for Elijah Curry. Crusaders in transition. Semiralio to Killeen. Back up top to Hollingshead. Round the horn it goes. Semiralio with the ball. Back to Hollingshead. Up top to Glassmacher. Glassmacher head and ball fake. Samuel doesn't buy. Glassmacher kick to the corner. That's Mann, who now kicks it back to Semiralio, and it gets it back into the hands of Glassmacher. Glassmacher dribble drive, kicks it around the horn. Semiralio is going to gather it from the wing, and down goes a three. That's his third three-point field goal of the first half. Give Semiralio 11 here in the first half. Big bucket there for the Crusaders. 33-19, halfway through the second quarter. I should say just about halfway through with 4.05 left. Richmond into the paint. He loses the basketball. It's stolen by the Crusaders. Hollingshead with it to Semiralio. Head and ball fake. Kicks it out. Now around the horn it goes. Glassmacher in the corner. That's no good. I'm sorry. Skip pass to Hollingshead. Hollingshead to Semiralio. That's no good. Hall with the rebound for Camden. 
Dribbles into the offensive end, kicks back out to Elijah Curry. Now to Richmond. Richmond's going to let go of that left-handed three, and down it goes. Semiralio was covering him, however, didn't close out close enough. Richmond able to get the left-handed three-point field goal up and good. Crusaders basketball, around the horn it goes. Hollings head into Semiralio. Semiralio being covered by Hall. And we have a foul on Hall. Satifa Hall with the push in the back in the post on Semiralio. It's Camden's second foul here in the second, I'm sorry, third foul here in the third quarter as they just changed the scoreboard. Each team with three personal fouls. Bishop Eustace with the basketball. Glassmacher from the wing. A deep three. That's no good. Semirali with the rebound. Over to Killeen. Killeen's three-point field goal. That's no good. Hall with his fourth offensive rebound since, I'm sorry, fourth rebound since entering the game. Now into the offensive end. To the corner to Samuel. Samuel looking to take Holly, uh, man. Dribble drives along the baseline. He's now doubled. He kicks it back out to Curry. Curry's going to get into the paint. And the alley-oop jam to Billy Richmond. Great backdoor cut by Billy Richmond along the baseline. A great feed by Curry. Jammed home for two by Billy Richmond. Third or fourth highlight real play in here this afternoon. Semiralio with the basketball. He comes off a screen. He looks to get a six foot right handed jump shot up and that's no good. Glassmacher, however, with the offensive rebound and put back for two. Ian Glassmacher. Offensive rebound and put back. Really, Richmond looking to get all the way to the paint again. Can't make the left-handed layup. Samuel's putback attempt tip in is no good. Crusaders with the basketball. Glassmacher up top to Killeen on the wing. Back to Glassmacher. Good head and ball fake into the paint. Eight-footer, no good. Glassmacher gets his own rebound. Up and no good, however, he's fouled. Good effort on the offensive glass by the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. Here's our game changer replay. Elijah Curry dribbles into the paint. He finds a backdoor cutting Billy Richmond, who knows what to do with that. And that's jam it home on the alley -oop. Glassmacher's first attempt from the charity stripe is no good. Camden up 17. 201 left here in the first half. Again, stay with us at halftime. Seniors, or I should say, st senior student athletes, both basketball players and cheerleaders, to be honored here on Senior Day at Camden High School. Glassmacher's second is up and no good. 0 for 2 from the line for Glassmacher. Camden in transition. Curry to get all the way into the paint. Right hand floater is no good. And they might call it before the shot, which means it'll be an inbound. Which it will. Four personals for each team. Neither team in the bonus as of yet. Again, once the team gets to five, they'll be shooting two in a bonus situation. Samuel on the inbounds. He now dribbles to the wing. Tries to go back to the corner. Can't do so. However, dribbles through a double team. Gets to the rim and misses the layup. Offensive rebound, however, by Jasir Holmes. He kicks to oh, Nazir Simmons, who looked mean with a dunk with the left hand and couldn't make that. Camden with the offensive rebound. Still in possession. Curry to Murray. Elijah Curry left it off to Teron Murray. That three-point field goal is no good. Samuel on the offensive rebound, however, travels with it as he gathers it. 129 left here in the first half. 38-21, Camden. It'll be Crusader basketball inbounding just to our left. Semiralio with the basketball. Crosses the timeline. To Hollingshead, to Killeen. Over to number five, Jordan Hollingshead. And we had on in transition, Nazir Simmons went to go up for his layup in transition. The ball, let's watch this right here. Stolen by Simmons. He's out in transition. And unfortunately, as he goes to lay it up, his leg gets his le left leg buckles a little bit, and he's down on the baseline. Grabbing at that left knee. Trainers assisting him as we speak. Coach Malik Wayne's concerned with his senior here on senior day. 
prior to the game, Coach Waynes has talked about how much these seniors have meant and how much they have led in such a great way for this Panther basketball team this year. Nazir Simmons was certainly one of the people that he had complimented and given a bunch of credits to. Coach Falconero, orthopedic surgeon of his own and one of the best. Simmons really doesn't want it, doesn't look like he wants to put any weight on that. Very little, if any. He is now limping off under the help of some assistants and trainers. Let's hope that he can shake this off if he can and that this is nothing serious for Camden Panther senior number 11, Nazir Simmons. Simmons will obviously be substituted for. It looks as though coming into the game for him will be Satifa Hall. Satifa Hall in for Simmons as they still check on him over on the bench. It'll be Crusader basketball. As unfortunately when Simmons couldn't leave the ground, he took the ball out of bounds with him. Camden now out of that full court pressure, looking to just match up man to man. Here up 17 with just over a minute left. 110 to be exact here in the first half. Hollingshead with the basketball to Samaraglio. Samaraglio goes to the top of the key. Now it passes over to number five. That is Jordan Hollingshead. So number five is Jordan Hollingshead. Number 13 is Jaden Hollingshead. Samaraglio with the basketball. He looks to dribble drive and he's going to be fouled by Hall. Bonus situation here for the Bishop Eustace Crusaders as Semiralio should go to the foul line with that being Camden's fifth foul and that's what they're setting up for now. Semiralio will shoot two. First is up and good. Semiralio's had himself a really good first half for Bishop Eustace. Second one is up and no good. However, the rebound to the Crusaders. Back to Semiralio. His little 15-footer from the wing is up and good. Semiralio, I have now for 14 first half points. And the lead is 14 for Camden. Was 19 at one point. It's being trimmed down a little by the Crusaders who are trying to keep themselves in this one. Samuel for three. And a deep three it was. And down it went. Emmanuel Joe Samuel with a deep three for the Camden Panthers. 41-24. 25 ticks left in here in the first half. Simaralia with the basketball to Killeen. To Jaden Hollingshead. To Simaralia. A little delay game here for the final shot for the Crusaders. They find a cutting Hollingshead along the baseline. He looks to take a couple dribbles and kick it back out to his brother. That's no good. In transition come Camden. That alley oop pass is up and no good. Teron Murray might have wanted to let that one go prior, than, prior to the pass, however he didn't. We're at halftime. As we said, we're going to stay here. We'd love for you to stay here with us as the Camden Panthers honor their senior student athletes here at halftime. 41-24 to half. Hey, basketball fans, you want to score tickets to the Final Four? Well, you can do it right now at ticksforgood.org. That's right, ticksforgood.org. The way it works, you go in. Make a small donation to benefit the charity of your choice, and you could win this awesome sweepstakes. It features two round-trip airfare tickets to Phoenix, Arizona, included with three nights hotel stay for you and a friend, and you could win it all. Ticksforgood.org, brought to you by our friends at Tri-City Kitchens. If you're in the market for a new dream kitchen, head to TriCityKitchens.com. They serve all of South Jersey. Good luck, everybody. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. 
Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. Congrats, Ron Brown. Corner board, 
hopefully he's fine. We'd like to welcome number 11, Isaiah Simmons.
live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. Hey, basketball fans, you want to score tickets to the Final Four? Well, you can do it right now at ticksforgood.org. That's right, ticksforgood.org. The way it works, you go in, make a small donation to benefit the charity of your choice, and you could win this awesome sweepstakes. It features two round-trip airfare tickets to Phoenix, Arizona, included with three nights hotel stay for you and a friend, and you could win it all. Ticksforgood.org, brought to you by our friends at Tri-City Kitchens. If you're in the market for a new dream kitchen, head to tricitykitchens.com. They serve all of South Jersey. Good luck, everybody. Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com.
Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Westcott here with BFA Sports. We thank you for tuning in on Senior Day here at Camden High School, home of the 23-2 and two Panthers. And what a halftime ceremony it was, honoring six players, a manager, three or four statisticians, the cheerleader squad who had five cheerleaders, senior cheerleaders of their own, and it was a wonderful halftime ceremony. Congratulations to the Camden High School student senior athletes. Camden High, Camden's up 17 here, 41-24 as we begin, about to begin the third quarter. Leading scores so far in this contest, first for the visiting Crusaders. They're led by number um, 25, Tommy Samaralio with 16 points. Ian Glassmacher had four, Braden Killeen had two, Jaden Hollingshead had two. It was a two-man show in the first half for the Panthers of Camden. Led by Billy Richmond with a game high 19, Elijah Curry 17, Manuel Joe Samuel 3, Samaj Bathia 2. Camden starts with the basketball. As we get underway, they unfortunately turn it over. Here on the sideline just to our right, ball now into possession of the Crusaders. Semiralio crosses the timeline to Glassmacher. Around the perimeter it goes to number three, Mann. Deion Mann gets back to the corner to Semiralio. He dribble drives along the baseline. Just passes the opposite corner. Now Glassmacher finds a cutting Adamanis and he lays it in for two. Dylan Adamanis with the first bucket here of the second half for the Crusaders. As they pull closer to within 15 now. 41-26. Billy Richmond with the basketball. Led all scores in the first half with 19. Dribble drive along the baseline. Gets the right hand from the left hand side of the basket after he goes under the basket. That's no good. In transition come the Crusaders. Semiralia with the basketball. Looks into Adamanis, decides not to, goes around the horn to Dion Mann. Dion Mann over to Semiralia, he finds a cutting at Adamanis. His left hand, or I'm sorry, right hand baby hook is up and no good. Elijah Curry for Camden with the rebound. Up in transition ahead to Samaj Bathia. Bathia, his three point field goal is no good. Rebound brought down by the Crusaders. They come back in transition. Glassmacher. Delivers to Dylan Adamanis, who lays it in with the right hand for two. Adamanis with his second bucket here of the second half. 13 point lead now for Camden. The Thea with the basketball. He eyes up Killeen. Lob pass to Elijah Curry, and he jams it home for two. Elijah Curry was fronted in the post by the Crusader defender. Good lob pass up over top of him. Bethia, uh, I'm sorry, Elijah Curry caught it all alone and jammed it home. Good entry pass by the Crusaders into Adamanis. He can't get the layup to go. However, he tracks down his own rebound. Floorboard for Adamanis as he returns to the bucket. He gets fouled. Game changer replay right here. Left all alone. Elijah Curry, good lob pass by Bethia. And down it goes with no help from the help side of the defense by Bishop Eustace. First free throw by Adamanis is up and good. Into the game now, I'm sorry, into the game was number number zero, Thomas Walker. Checking in for Thomas Walker is now uh, Manuel Joe Samuel. Adamanis' second free throw is up and good. Two for two as the Crusaders are trying to cut into and starting to cut into this Camden lead. However, Elijah Curry says not so fast. Down goes a three for Elijah Curry. That's a six seven man in the post who stretches out to the wing and knocks down a three. Crusaders with the basketball, lob to Adamanis. He goes into the paint, he tries to score over Elijah Curry, he can't do that. Curry now back in transition. Your little Euro step to the left hand on the left side of the paint. Down goes the bucket, count the bucket, says the official, and the foul. Curry to the line to shoot one. Elijah Curry with a little left step, Euro step to the left side of the paint. Scores because of it, draws the foul. However, he can't make the free throw. 
Give Curry the bucket. 18 point lead for the Panthers. We're in the third. Coming to you from senior day here at Camden High School. Semiralia with a three, down it goes. Ball went into the paint to Glassmacher. He found a trailing of perimeter, a trailing player around the perimeter. That was Semiralio, who had three of them in the first half. Knocks down another here in the third quarter. Skip pass for the Camden Panthers. The skip pass goes to Teron Murray. On the catch, he looks to attempt to go dribble, dribble drive along the baseline. Can't do so because he's fouled. It'll be Camden possession to inbound along the baseline. Richmond from Bethia. He looks with the left hand dribble drive into the paint. Looks as though the ball lost. Looks as though the ball got lost on the transition or on the dribble drive. However, Richmond regathers it and then lays it in with the left hand for two. Count the bucket for Billy Richmond. That's a good entry pass right there by Semiralio to number 11, Adam Manis. And on the catch, he spins to the basket and scores. Looks like Bishop Eustace at halftime discussed, let's go into the post. Let's get Adam Manis in the post, and let's see if we can go in there and feed it in there rather than work it around the perimeter. And let's go to work in the post with Adam Manis. And they've certainly made that in a, uh, a, a, a point of emphasis here in the third quarter, and it's working as Adam Manis scores and makes the free throw for a three-point play. Bethia misses his dribble drive to the basket. The rebound to the Crusaders, Killeen. Outlet to Semiralio. He now goes to the block to Mann. Mann's block to block pass was kicked. However, kick on the play was not called, but it was stolen by the Panthers in transition. They find Bethia in the corner for three, and Bethia drains the three-point field goal from right in front of his own bench, giving him a total of five on the evening so far. Adamanis again into the post. What we talked about, that point of emphasis at halftime. That's five straight trips here in the third quarter where the Crusaders have gone into the post to Adamanis. Elijah Curry at the other end attempts a three-point field goal from right at the top of the key. That's no good. Looks like there's a foul on Camden's number 24. That's Billy Richmond. So over the back was Billy Richmond. That'll give the ball to the Crusaders. Down 17, looking to cut into that. Semiralio to Hollingshead. Hollingshead acts like he's going to raise for a three. Does not do so. To man to Semiralia. Into the paint again to Adamanis. And he goes up and under Curry and lays it in for two. Going to work in the paint here in the third quarter is Adamanis. Bethia for three from the top of the key. That's no good. Green floorboard ran down by Samuel. He nups, picks up and knocks down a 16-footer. Manuel Joe Samuel with the floorboard from 16 feet away, drains a jumper from the elbow. Crusaders come back in transition. Semiralio with the basketball. He attempts to go block the block. This time the kickball is called on the Camden defense. And the possession will remain Crusaders. Adamanis in the post off a good inbounds play. Good set. Adamanis in the post. We've said it time and time again here in the third. Billy Richmond with the two-handed jam. No one got back. Billy Richmond was able to get to the rim and stuffed it home for two with two hands. Semiralio with the basketball for the Crusaders. Over the man. Now up top to Semiralio. Over to Holland's head. Into the corner. That's Killeen from a corner th with a corner three. That's no good. Curry with the rebound. It's tipped away by Semiralio. He throws ahead. That's nearly stolen by Bethia. However, not man with the basketball. He finds it cutting Semiralio. No shots taken in that exchange. And Bishop Eustace will reset. Hollingshead. That's, that's Jaden Hollingshead into Semiralio. That's two-point field goal. Six-footers no good. Adam Manis, though, a monster on the glass here in the third. Offensive rebound and putback is no good, but he was fouled on the putback. <laughs> Going to have wholesale substitutions here for Camden. It looks as though coming into the game will be number 23, Jasir Holmes, number one, Tavi Mateen, and number three, who played a bunch in the first half, is Satafa Hall. Bethia will take a break. So will Elijah Curry, and so will... Billy Richmond. Adamanis at the foul line for Bishop Eustace. He's had himself a heck of a third quarter. Knocks down the second, cuts the lead to 15. 
Joe Samuel with the basketball for Camden. Being covered by Semeraglio, passes over to Hall, back to Samuel. Samuel looks to dribble drive with the left hand, gets the 14 feet, pulls up with a 14 footer, that's no good. Adamanis now with a defensive rebound. Killeen to Hollingshead, Hollingshead wants to get all the way to the rim, does so with the left hand but can't finish. Floorboard tracked down by Joe Samuel, he's gonna get by Mann, dishes into the paint to number 23, that's just Sear Holmes who lays it in for two. Good dish and good bucket by Holmes. 59-42. Under two minutes now here in the third. Man with the basketball for the Crusaders. Up top to Hollingshead. Round the horn to Semeraglio. Now to Adam Manis in the corner. Back to Killeen. Back up top. Semeraglio is going to take a deep three from the top of the key. That's no good. Rebound to Teron Murray. Now to Sid Sitafa Hall, he turns it over. Back comes the Crusaders in transition. Adam Manis at the top of the key. He loses possession in the paint. But however, regains possession and then lays it in for two. Adam Manis on his dribble drive, lost possession, lost control of the basketball, was able to regain it and then score for two. Joe Samuel with a right-handed attempt from the left side. That's no good, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Back and forth basketball here in the third at Camden High School. Third has 117 left in it. Camden up 15 and Joe Samuel to the line for the Panthers looking to tack on to that. Samuel makes the first. And the second, two for two for Samuel, scores 61-44. One piece of good news at halftime, or at least we think it is, is Nazir Simmons, the senior who was hurt at the end of the first half, was able under his own power to walk out to center court and be honored for senior night, uh, or senior day here this afternoon. He was able to do it under his own power. He had his family with him, and it was a great moment there for Nazir Simmons, which had a deep scare there late in the first quarter. So he's got ice on it now. We hope he's going to be okay. Camden will need him during the playoff run, that's for sure. So we wish the best to Nazir Simmons. However, it looked promising at halftime. Camden comes back down, attempts a th uh, field goal. That's no good. Here's our game changer replay. Joe Samuel, little dribble drive into 14 foot. That is up and no good. And on the rebound, there's a tie up. It'll be a jump ball and the possession arrow belongs to the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. Semeralia with the basketball to Killeen. Killeen back up top. Oh, no, it doesn't go up top. He finds a rolling Adamanis who can't finish. Adamanis was rolling with the screen. He was open on the cut, on the roll cut. He was found, but he couldn't score. Camden with the basketball. Samuel has it. He kicks to the corner. That's a three-point field goal attempt by Murray. That's no good. The rebound goes to Jaden Hollingshead for the Crusaders. They cross the timeline to the wing, the man. Man tries to find Semerali on the cut, can't do so. Back up top to Killeen, now to Semerali on the wing. Just to our left. He resets at the top of the key, finds Killeen on the right wing. Good find on another roll cut. Bishop Eustace has found Adam Manis on the weak side, or whoever that weak side block player is. They're screening for him in the middle of the paint, letting him roll from the block to the ball side. And they're getting, they're getting, having some success finding that roll cutter. They found Adam Manis there. He couldn't score, but he got fouled. He's going to shoot two at the line. He makes the first. And the second, two for two for Amatis, or I should say Adamanis. Last final tick of the third, that's no good. Our score at the end of three here at Camden High School, it's the Panthers of Camden 61, the Crusaders of Eustace, Bishop Eustace 46.
Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. Hey, basketball fans, you want to score tickets to the Final Four? Well, you can do it right now at ticksforgood.org. That's right, ticksforgood.org. The way it works, you go in, make a small donation to benefit the charity of your choice, and you could win this awesome sweepstakes. It features two round-trip airfare tickets to Phoenix, Arizona, included with three nights hotel stay for you and a friend, and you can win it all. Ticksforgood.org, brought to you by our friends at Tri-City Kitchens. If you're in the market for a new dream kitchen, head to tricitykitchens.com. They serve all the South Jersey. Good luck, everybody. Steve Westcott here with BFA Sports for coming to you from Camden High School. It's 61-46, the Panthers of Camden on top of the Bishop Eustace Crusaders. We were highly entertained in between the third and fourth quarter by the Camden High School cheer crew, uh, the cheerleading team. As I wish, we don't want it to go unnoticed. They won their last competition, a cheer competition, just last weekend. Um, and, and congratulations to them because as we've stated in here before, they are highly entertaining and very good at what they do. Congratulations to the Camden High School cheerleading team. Camden had the first possession here of the fourth quarter. Jump shot gets caught between the rim and the backboard, which means it's a jump ball. The possession arrow belongs to the Crusaders. Ball into the hands of Semiralio. That's the younger Sammy Semiralio who wears number one. Now into the hands of Colleen. Colleen comes off a screen and passes it to Sammy Semiralio. Back into the corner to, hold on, we're going to have to say first names now, to Tommy Semiralio. His three-point field goal from the corner is up and no good. However, Adam Manis with the offensive rebound and put back, and the lead is back to only 13 now for the Camden Panthers. Samaj Bathia tries to get to the rim. That's blocked by Mann. Mann comes up with it out in transition. Now into the hands of Sammy Samaralio. Back up top to Colleen, to Tommy Samaralio. He looks to take to Ron Murray. He kicks to the corner to Mann. Mann catches the ball. Back to Samaralio. That's Tommy. Back up top to Sammy Samaralio. Over to the left wing to Adamanis. He looks to take Curry. However, goes back up top to Mann. Man to Killeen, his three-point field. Oh, no, he good head and ball fake, doesn't take it. Goes back up top, however, to Adam Manis. He's being covered by Richen. Tommy Simaraglio into the paint, looks to lob to Adam Manis, and they lose a possession out of bounds. Turnover on the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. We're down 13 here with under six and a half left in the fourth quarter. Billy Richmond. On the wing, pass up top to Samuel. Samuel looks to get the dribble drive, can't take Amanis. However, now he does get by at Amanis. His field goal attempt is up and no good. Re defensive rebound for the Crusaders. Tommy Semiralia up ahead to Mann. Mann's going to look to get to no Oh, no, he goes block to block to Adamanis. Adamanis wasn't ready for that one. It goes through his hands, out of bounds. Turnover by the Crusaders. Good job by Mann right there. Wanted to go block to block. Tried to draw the defender and do so. However, Adamanis couldn't come up with the catch. Camden basketball. Bathia crosses the timeline with it. Bathia with some exciting times, hopefully ahead, as he's chasing down 1,000 points. Needed 54 coming into today. I have him with five so far, and now make it seven. Right on cue, Samaj Bathia for two. Adam Manis with a good catch in the post. However, he loses it on the dribble. Bathia's out in front of everybody. He's fouled, and the layup does not go. Bathia looking to catch the contact. He did. He drew the foul. Here's game changer replay. 
Right there, you can see him look for the contact. He still tries to make the right-handed layup, can't get it to go. However, he did draw the foul, and he'll shoot two from the charity strike. Bathia's first is up and no good. Samaj Bathia received some wonderful compliments in my pregame talk with Coach Malik Waynes. Said Samaj just really is our motor. He's really what makes us go. He gets us into the tempo we want. And he has really been a great leader for us. Compliments galore to Samaj Bathia from Coach Malik Waynes. One of two for Bathia from the line. It's 64-48, lead 16. And we have a foul, I'm sorry, we have a timeout called by Bishop Eustace, Coach Robert Falconero. Camden up 16. We'll be back. Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. Steve Westcott, here with BFA Sports. We welcome you and thank you for tuning in. You're looking inside Camden's huddle right now with Villanova's own coach Malik Waynes. This team is 23 and two, looking to go 24 and two in here to this afternoon. Up 16 with 522 left in the contest. What a year Camden High School has had. They're built for this, they're senior oriented. Four of their five starters are seniors. The playoff runs have all come. They won the Camden County Championship last night, I believe, by beating Camden Catholic here at Camden High School. Another friendly foe in the likes of the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace in here today, who have not gone away. Give, give credit to where it's due, the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. And as I said during this contest, Coach Falconero is too good of a coach. These kids are too fundamentally sound. They're too disciplined. They're too well-schooled. They're too good of hard-nosed athletes. They are not going to let Camden just run all over them. They did the last time, and I thought we'd see a gut check here by the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace, and we certainly have done that, as they're hanging around this contest looking to see if there's a way they could steal it. Crusader with the basketball, however, the inside in the lob into the paint to Adam Monis is tipped away by Elijah Curry. Possession will remain with the Crusaders. Semiralio off the inbounds pass. His three-point field goal attempt from in front of his own bench is off the front of the rim. Pathia with the floorboard. He's going to look to go coast to coast. Can't do so, so he kicks back out to Murray. Up top to Billy Richmond. Billy Richmond lobs it into Elijah Curry, and Elijah Curry's fouled on the catch from behind by Adamanis. Dylan Adamanis with the personal foul. Coming over the back and arms of Elijah Curry on his catch at the foul line. It'll be Camden possession. The theater inbound goes to the opposite corner to Joe Samuel. Dribble drive with the right hand up and good. Bill Emmanuel Joe Samuel from the corner with the right hand gets all the way to the paint around Adamanis and lays it in for two. 18 point lead now for the Panthers of Camden High School. Man into the corner to Semiralio. He looks into it, Adamanis can't get the pass inside. Goes across to Killian. He kicks back out to the top of the key. Catches the pass from Killian. And that three point field goal by Semiralio is no good. Camden with the rebound. Richmond to the corner to Elijah Curry. Elijah Curry skip pass to Bathia who now goes to the corner to Teron Murray. That's up and no good. Adamanis with the rebound for the Crusaders. Hollingshead to Killeen. Bishop Eustace with the basketball to Semiralio. Back to Hollingshead. He looks inside to Adamanis. Doesn't give him to him. Now does. Adamanis travels with the basketball. He was trying to take Billy Richmond. Billy Richmond did a nice job on the defensive end. Shuffling the feet did Adamanis. Thus the turnover. Possession now belonging to the Panthers of Camden High School. Samuel with the basketball. He comes off a Curry screen. Gets doubled by man. Billy Richmond at the foul line. That 15 footer is no good. Elijah Curry with the basketball. He's being pressured. 
However, the ball is tipped away from Curry, out of bounds off the Crusaders. Possession to remain to the Panthers of Camden. They will inbound along the sideline, or I should say in the corner to our right. Samuel up top to Bethia. Bethia staring down Killeen as the man-to-man -man defense from the Crusaders sags inside the three-point line. Bethia takes it to the opposite side, pulls up with a 16-footer. That's no good. Rebound to the Crusaders, who come back in transition from our right to left. Semiralia with the basketball. He gets into the paint, kicks back out to Hollingshead, over to Killeen in front of the Eustace bench. Semiralia with the basketball. To man. To Semira cutting Semiralia, who pulls up from 10 feet. That's no good off the heel of the rim. Curry for Camden with the rebound. Outlet pass to Bethia is going to get all the way to the rim and lay it in for two. Samaj Bathia had two in the first half. He's got nine in the second for a total of 11. The lead is now 20 for Camden with just over three minutes left here in the contest. Camden High School cheerleading squad putting on a show in the corner to our left. Highly entertaining, they do a wonderful job. Has everyone in the gymnasium's attention. Speaking of attention, Bethia draws attention as he drives to the paint. Draws to the attention to the amount of three Crusaders and on the dribble drive he gets fouled. I'm sorry, he doesn't get fouled. It's blocked, out of bounds. It'll remain Camden possession. Bethia inbounds, he finds us a cutting Jasir Holmes who lays it in for two. Bethia off the inbounds to Holmes, finishes with the right hand. We have another timeout by the Bishop Eustace Crusaders. Called by Coach Robert Falconero. Camden up 22, just under three minutes left. Have you been thinking about selling your home but concerned about the high interest rates for a mortgage? With my real estate marketing team at BFA Homeworks, I can help you maximize the value of your property and streamline the selling process. In my 20 plus years as a finance and production executive, my network of professionals have built custom solutions for each one of our clients. Meet with our award-winning team of real estate, video production, and finance experts to make your home work for you. Call or visit us today at www.bfahomeworks.com. Camden High School Panthers are 23 and two entering the day's action. They're two minutes and 52 seconds away from being 24 and two. With the South Jersey State playoffs coming this week. Second half of the season especially. I mean, Camden's been on a roll. When you're 23 and two, you're always on a roll, but those two losses came right around a holiday break or just shortly after. And the last 13 contests for the Panthers of Camden, they have just been putting it to their opponents. That full court pressure, aggressive in your face, they don't back down, they turn you over, they get you in transition, and they certainly know how to finish in transition, as we've seen several highlight reel plays in here this afternoon. We thank you for tuning in to BFA Sports. We love all of our sponsors that help us bring these contests to you, and we certainly do love bringing them to you as we do. Tune in this week. Camden on the docket. Our Lady Mercy Academy will be back on the docket for a home playoff game at Crew Hall in Newfield. But first, let's finish what we have going on right now. That's Samaj Bathia from the top of the key for three. That's no good. Eustace with the rebound. Hollingshead with the basketball. Cimaralio now crosses the timeline. Kick to Killeen in the corner. That three-point field goal is up and no good. Mann attempts to get the weak side offensive rebound. Cannot do so. Ball comes down into the hands of Mateen. He pulls up from just inside the top three-point line and just right at the top of the key. That's no good. Semiralio and the Crusaders come back. Killeen with the basketball. Now around the horn to Hollingshead. Over to Mann. Mann who a cutting Semiralio. He lays it in for two. That's a really good job by the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. Good ball rotation around the perimeter. When the ball goes to the corner, Semiralio makes a good hard cut, receives the pass and lays it in for two. Coach Falconero and the Bishop Eustace Crusaders now subbing in. What looks like, not looks like, what, be, what appears to be three new players. Number one is Sammy Semiralio who played a few minutes sparingly here and there. 
Um, number five is Jordan Hollingshead. He played a couple minutes in the first half. And number 34, John McCormick into the game for Bishop Eustace. That three-point field goal attempt to our right is by number 12. And we don't have that number on our play sheet. However, I can tell you this. He was who they announced as the manager on senior night, and he probably was not on the initial basketball players list because he was probably their manager, and they're getting him about two minutes of game time here, which is really a class act by Coach Malik Waynes and Camden High School. So on the floor is Jasir Holmes, Satifa Hall, Thomas Walker, Tavi Mateen, and we're just going to go with the manager at this point. I mean, I, I like he's like what a great job they bragged and raved and raved them up in one side and down on side as to how much they needed him and how much of a success he's been. You see the laughter and joy on Coach Wayne's face as we show you that it means a whole lot to the Camden High School Panthers that this young man is on the floor for them right now. Bishop Eustace, however, with the basketball. We got 115 left. We're about to close this one out. That's the younger Semiralio Semer brother, Sammy, into the game. To Adamanis over now to number five, Jaden Hollingshead. Or I'm sorry, Jordan Hollingshead. He now goes to Adamanis along the baseline. His reverse layup is up and no good. Mateen with the rebound. He gets it to number 12, the manager. The manager cannot gather the pass. Three-point field goal by Thomas Walker goes down. 47 ticks left in this one. The lead is 23 for the Panthers. With the basketball is number 22, Derek DeCastro. They find Adamanis, and Adamanis scores again, who's had a big second half. Adamanis, they, they, at halftime, they made it a... Here's the manager for deep three. That's no good from just to our right. He's going to have another shot. It goes up, no good. You can tell everybody in the gym wants him to get a bucket. He's going to fire another one probably. Doesn't do so. However, now he steps into one and, oh, off the front of the rim. Three or four, several deep three-point field goal attempts. However, none of them could go. We certainly wished one of them did because this place was about to explode. Bishop Eustace with the basketball. Th corner buzzer beater is no good, and we have a final. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an awesome day here. We thank you for tuning in to BFA Sports. On behalf of our whole crew, I'm Steve Westcott. We will see you soon. Our final in here today on Senior Day at Camden High School is the Panthers of Camden High 73, the visiting Crusaders of Bishop Eustace 52. We'll see you next time you play ball.